Alright ladies and gentlemen, today we're looking at the Minis Forum UM690 Slim and I know at least one of you will be happy. This is the last of the trifecta in the Slim line left to review. Well, until Minis Forum makes another one. 24 hours later. The original UM690 was flawed as it didn't have any cooling for the RAM and SSD. It ended up thermal throttling during GPU workloads pretty quickly. But this time, things are different, as the oddly named Slimline does have a fan underneath. The plastic box design is very much modelled after the last couple of NUC Pro generations and is around the same size. It's solid in the hands, apart from the bottom lid, which flexes with a bit of pressure. So don't squeeze it too hard unless you want to drastically increase airflow with a giant gaping hole using the brute force method. Oh. Mini's Forum's UM690 Slim includes AMD's Ryzen 6900HX, an 8-core, 16-thread flagship CPU from a few years back. Its Radeon 680M integrated graphics completely decimated Intel's effort at the time. It was also the first generation to introduce mandatory DDR5 support. I couldn't find it for sale on the Mini's Forum website in the US, so we're going by Amazon.com, which is $416 US dollars for the 32GB RAM, 1TB SSD configuration. Included with it is a compact power supply, visa mount, HDMI cable, and two spare rubber feet. I know, I know, I hate those tightly glued on rubber feet as much as any one man can. And now we come to the all important port selection. There's a digital microphone, dual USB 3 10 gigabit audio jack, and clear CMOS. Inside it is a MediaTek Wi-Fi 6E plus Bluetooth. The back has a barrel jack input for the power supply, Realtek 2.5G LAN, HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort, USB 4, and dual USB 2. Nothing too impressive, and this one allows a maximum of 3 displays. After testing the USB 4 port, I can confirm it allows power and display with a 1 cable solution, and it's on the back of the Mini, which is nice. Opening up the UM690 Slim is a chore. Four very tightly glued on rubber feet you need to rip off. Then remove the four screws, pry open the flimsy lid, and lift it gently to avoid damaging the fan cable. This one comes with crucial DDR5 5600 memory, although the Mini is locked to 4800. A Kingston 2230 Gen 4 SSD with a 2280 adapter is used for the OS drive. Underneath it is the M.2 Wi-Fi card. There's another 2280 Gen 4 NVMe slot next to it, and the UM690 Slim supports RAID in the BIOS. Unless you manage to find the bare bones, this one comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. The malware and rootkit scan came up clear. Unfortunately, Ubuntu doesn't work perfectly on this Mini. While Bluetooth is detected, wireless isn't, and requires a driver installation. I'm using the LAN jack for this example. AMD's Ryzen 6900HX is a CPU that we've benchmarked plenty of times before. While minis get taken off the charts to make way for new ones, I have kept the AU Star Gem 12 to compare against, and in single core Cinebench, the Slim performs like the other 6900HX. And it outperformed the AU Star Gem 12 slightly in multi core. There is a performance profile in the BIOS, but it doesn't actually yield any benefits. The default balance mode has identical performance. Geekbench single core is fine with a similar score, and in multi core, the UM690 Slim beats the Gem 12 once again. The H.264 video encoding test shows the Slim slightly ahead in this multi core workload. It's the same in the much longer AV1 encoding test. So the UM690 performs better CPU wise than the Gem 12, and that was a great mini PC when released. Next, we're looking at a couple of benchmarks for the AI bros. Overall, the Slim is better than Intel's latest Ultra 9 288V in the ONNX CPU test. Although Intel's latest Battle Mage Arc graphics in the 288V does a lot better in the GPU test. Interestingly, the UM690 Slim had a slight GPU boost in 3D Mark's DX11 Firestrike, where there was a 6% improvement over the Gem 12. It's 4% ahead in DX12 Timeswire, and almost identical in Steel Nomad Lite. So the Slim has good performance with both the CPU and integrated graphics. Next up, we'll check out a few games. Starting with eSports, Valorant gets plenty of frames, even on this older generation. My ultimate is ready. Your duty is not over. Next up is Dota 2. 
Still the most popular esports game around. A pretty solid average frame rate as long as you stick to 1080p low. AMD's Radeon 680M was the first integrated graphics solution to allow current games at the time of release to be actually playable. It's struggling now, but many games can be played at 1080p low using native rendering with a decent frame rate, such as Baldur's Gate 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. A newer game like Space Marine 2 is completely unplayable natively rendered at 1080p. AMD's 6000 series CPUs are also good for emulation. Many games can be played full speed rendered at 1080p for both Wii U and PS3. Some PS3 games will need a lower resolution or may not run full speed either way. One area the Gem 12 has this mini beat is the external GPU interface. Only USB 4 is available with a slim over the better Oculink port found on the Gem 12. Still, USB 4 is convenient as you can plug and unplug it as you please even while the mini is on. Here it's running nicely with an RTX 4070 Super. Moving on to audio and video. It's good to see the UM690 pass the audio latency test even with Cinebench running in the background. A few other Mini's forum units haven't done so well. The 6900 Ajax can handle 4K video projects in Premiere. When the CPU spikes, there's a slight delay after hitting the space bar for playback. But it's not too bad at all, and if video editing is a secondary function for your Mini PC, then an AMD CPU is a good choice. So we already saw the UM690 Slim is using a 2230 Kingston Gen 4 SSD. It's an average performer, only beaten by one Gen 3 drive in 3 d Mark's storage benchmark. When opening the Mini, we saw a thermal pad and fan for cooling the SSD, and its only temperature sensor maxed out at 51C, which is fine. Bluetooth range is on the lower side with this UM690 Slim, however wireless range is good working without any issues at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. This Mini has a fairly low power draw when idle at 9 watts. The maximum power draw recorded at 98 watts, which is about right for these CPUs using their highest power limit. It's not easy to cool so much heat in a space this small, but the UM690 Slim does decently and the CPU maxed out at 92C. The balance mode profile basically behaves like what would usually be the performance mode for other minis. So while the fan noise doesn't look impressive from the outset, let's add the performance mode figures. Now it's looking much better. Still not as good as the Gem 12, but fairly close. This isn't a quiet mini PC under load, but it's pretty good considering its performance results. Just like the other minis in the slimline, I'm not sure what it refers to as they're neither slim nor small mini PCs, coming in at around average volume compared to others we've looked at. You can use the delete key on startup to get into the BIOS. In advanced onboard devices configuration, you can find NVMe RAID support. The ACPI setting has wake on LAN and the power limit setting which makes no difference. AMD CBS MBIO common options allows you to increase the VRAM limit. It's set to only 2GB by default, 3 or 4 is a better choice for most usage cases. FCH common options has AC power loss and in SMU common options you can set the power limit manually or raise the maximum temperature limit for the CPU. Ok, pros and cons time. Mini's forum's UM690 Slim has good performance all around. Unlike the old UM690, there's good cooling for the SSD and RAM side. The wrongs of the past have been fixed. Dual Gen 4 M.2 slots are included, allowing for RAID configurations. Also appreciate Mini's forum bundling a compact power supply with this one. We're still getting ginormous power bricks with various Mini PCs. That being said, port selection is a bit weak. Memory overclocking is disabled. Bluetooth range could be better, and the price is close to minis with newer generation AMD chips. The UM690 Slim is a nice mini PC and was fun to test, as there weren't any major flaws with it. As always, you can find it linked in the video description if you're interested. 
Did you know Mini's forum has also released a Mac Mini style PC with a newer CPU and plenty of other features, such as an inbuilt power supply? You can find the review of that Mini right here. Cheers.